Isn't it strange thinking that something as simple as breathing may be contributing to your neck pain? It's actually weird for me as a doctor even to say something like that. But unfortunately, this does happen. This is where the pain generally occurs. Do you have pain like this? Stay with me and I'll explain this to you. The two primary muscles responsible for breathing are the diaphragm and the intercostals. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that when you take a deep breath in, it contracts and moves down towards your belly, pushing our bellies out and forcing the air in. The intercostals are small muscles that sit in between the ribs and they help expand and contract our chest when we breathe in and out. What I'm showing you now are with the accessory muscles and how they help lift the rib cage up. So right here we have a muscle called the SCM and behind it we have these three small muscles called the scalene muscles. And again in this picture we can see the intercostals here and this is our breastplate here. So as we breathe in the entire chest cavity is going to move up. What happens when we're stressed out or stuck at a computer for long hours, we stop doing diaphragmatic breathing, also known as belly breathing. We become shallow breathers and we end up taking smaller, shallower breaths. Notice that her chest did most of the movement and there is very little belly movement. This means that the diaphragm is not expanding and the accessory muscles are being overworked. These small muscles are now trying to do the job of this huge, powerful, muscle or diaphragm. When these small muscles are overworked, adhesion can form, causing you discomfort in your neck. I'm going to show you now how I remove adhesion from the scalene muscles. So what I'm feeling right now is I'm feeling along the side of her neck where her scalene muscles live and I'm feeling for an area that's a little bit less compressible than the other area. And I have a spot right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my depth. I'm going to go straight into those scalene muscles right here. I'm going to take a tension down along the muscle and we're slowly going to bend her head to the opposite side. Good. We'll do one more pass right here. Again, there's the tension bending away, freeing up those accessory breathing muscles for scalenes. Now that the adhesion is removed, we need to work on di the diaphragmatic breath because this will ensure that the scalene muscles won't tighten up in the future. Lauren and everyone watching, let's take a diaphragmatic breath together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our backs. You're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna place it on your chest. Your right hand is gonna stay here over your belly button. And now what we're all gonna concentrate on is as you breathe in through your nose, you wanna focus on pushing your belly up towards the sky and your chest is gonna move second. So Lauren, let's take a deep breath in. You see her belly is rising and then her chest starts to move. And as you exhale, everything is gonna come out. Good, let's take one more breath like that. So inhale, belly comes up, chest moves second. Excellent. This is a proper diaphragmatic breath or a belly breath. If you have discomfort and pain in the front part of your neck, it may be from an unlikely source like breathing incorrectly and adhesion that has formed as a result. You can finally exhale. We at Barefoot Rehab know how to help you.